Hi folks, busy couple of weeks here, so we've had less videos out than normal. Uh, we've had uh, a couple of weddings to shoot. I've had a video edit for another wedding. My brother got married at the weekend, so it's been a pretty busy fortnight. Uh, but today's video, I'm gonna be sharing all about this new toy and oh, how it's been helping us with the groundwork so far. Okay, it's time for a new tool, and it's a bit of an episode of hire or buy. It's kind of an ongoing thing as a DIYer when you've got different tasks, whether you buy something or hire something, and that's a future video I'm planning on doing, kind of listing out some of the tools that may go one way or the other, and maybe we'll have a poll or a vote somehow. Um, but today, I've got this path to break out, and it just didn't make sense to hire something I know I'm gonna need on two or three occasions and at the end of the day I could always sell it on. Um, so this is a very budget Chinese made breaker, um, pretty much the same innards as any of the other um, bog standard third party brands, but it's a hundred pounds I think it was on offer at Tool Station. And hopefully it should speed things up. The last eight meters of it I've done with a sledgehammer SDS drill over a couple of years ago. This should come out a lot easier, I'm hoping, so uh, wish me luck. So it's a great big heavy thing. And I mean, it's small in comparison to some of the ones you'd hire, but. You probably wouldn't want to be using this all day because I doubt it's got half the shock absorbing anti-vibration stuff as the others, but. For what we need, it's going to be ample. Now I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit louder than a SCS, so uh, we'll make sure we've got our PPE on and a decent podcast to listen to. It's official, that was money very well spent. Could have done with that many occasions for now. So there we go, that is it in action. I've split, broken out that path, didn't take long at all. Now, as a bit of a, a guide, um, this was 110 pounds, I think it came in at, uh, at the time of buying it. Now this very machine appears to be identical to numerous other ones, just in a different color or different labeling. And it's just a 15 kilo concrete breaker. It's a phenomenal bit of kit for the money and uh, you know, 
it's pretty much the same power as one you would hire. Now, if you're gonna buy one and use it day in, day out, then of course you're gonna buy something much higher spec that's gonna last longer, be more ergonomic, blah, blah, blah. But if you're a DIY and you're doing a renovation or breaking out loads of driveway or something at a house and you need a tool to get it done and you're not gonna just bash it out in a day or two, um, then buying one of these is, is pretty much a no-brainer. I can't imagine it's gonna be hard to shift one of these if you sold it on eBay um, you know, a, a few months later. If you did hire one and you can do it all in one day, then it is more cost effective because I think when I got a quote, hire was 30 to 35 pounds for the same size machine um, for, for a 24 hour period. So yeah, if you know you're gonna get it done, um, but we all know you hire something and once you've got it, it's, you put it off to the next day, then it rolls up. And by, by the time you've had it for two or three days, you're gonna wish you'd buy, bought one in the first place. So um, I'm, I'm always of the mind now that I'm trying to buy tools that are gonna last. And actually, even though this is a budget bit of kit, I can't imagine that it's not gonna last. On the back here, there is an oil level bubble. So that is one thing that needs to be kept on top of and you can top it up and that does need to be checked because that's a common way that these things can uh, give up the ghost. Um, apart from that, it's got two fittings. You've got the spade type, a bit like an SDS really, spade type and then this pointed one, this did the job fine. Anything up to, what, probably six inches was that slab on the, on the edge and it just went through easily. Like, like most tools, you really kind of have to let the tool do the work. It's not like I was pushing down on it. It just, you know, the, the mechanism, the weight of it does the work and then you kind of, you're spending more energy lifting it up to start another break. Um, and you don't really want to use it for levering, but it's a lot more solid than you would if you're using an SDS and you start using it, it's, it can get a bit messy and you can damage the tool. Whereas this, even though I'm not prying big bits of concrete out, I felt like it was fine to just go down a little bit, back it out and then start again. Anyway, there we go. I'm not aiming to get into the whole tool review type uh, scene on the channel, but I think sometimes you do come across a, a tool which is worth sharing. And uh, is, when we did this poll last week on Instagram, and this is something I'll be touching on in a whole new video in the future, the hire versus buy type argument. This one was pretty much the closest 50-50 split. Um, so for those of you on the fence and you know you've got a job, but you're not sure if you are gonna hire or buy, then I would say this is probably a pretty safe bet, bearing in mind all the warranties and everything that you get with them anyway. Anyway, stay tuned on the channel for the hire versus buy video, We're doing a little bit more research on the last few bits on that. Uh, we basically took 10 big-ish tools that were kind of the ones that you might hire or might buy. We put them out on the Instagram and Facebook stories, people voted on there and the, the results are pretty interesting. We had you know, well over a thousand people vote on each one. So it's a pretty good bit of research, I'd say. Uh, for, this is basic DIYs. Right, I need to go off and cook dinner. Chicken salad tonight. Homegrown chicken, homegrown salad, home baked bread, croutons. Anyway, I'll leave it there. That's it. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself. And we'll see you next time.